Hello my name is Martin, welcome back to another video. So, we're going to investigate something that we found a long time ago, me and Danny found it. If you're wondering what it is, I will explain all. We're on the banks of the river Irwell. Over there is Wet Earth Colliery. Um, you can see we've got Roy and we've got James with us and we've got Danny with us. It's a gorgeous day. We've got a brew on um, and then we're going to investigate something. So, we'll have this brew and then I'll tell you all about what we're going to look at. Right, so before we go crawling along this tunnel, we have invested in some gear. We've got um, overalls, knee pads, helmets, and a gas meter. So let's crack on and get dressed for the occasion. You can't find gear here for cakes and picnic stuff. <laughs> when it get warm, you know, it's going to be warm going in here, isn't it? Mm. At least we'll be out of the sun. Now, a few years ago, when we started doing the wet earth colliery stuff, which is on the other side of the river, we discovered this little tunnel that you've just seen. We didn't know what it was because it doesn't make sense because all the other interesting tunnels are over the other side of the river for wet earth colliery. Um, so we're going to go in here and we're going to take a look. So we've got my gear on. You're mainly going to be watching through this GoPro here, so I'm hoping to get the right angle for you. It's going to be a bit awkward, hence the helmet, the overalls, and we've all got uh, knee pads on as well because it is a crawl, um, so we need to be at a rest and gloves, you'd be happy to know. We don't know what this is, it goes right into the rock, you can see the, um, the marks on the rock where the, the workers have chipped away at it, probably blasted it with a bit of gunpowder as well, I suspect it's very very old. What I think it might be is an overflow tunnel for the old Manchester Berry Bolton Canal which is just over the hill up here i'll show you on some maps in a minute and there was some an old lock up here so i think it might have been the overflow for the lock that and um, then they took it through this tunnel it ran out into the river but we don't know if we get down here and there's a shaft going upwards i suspect that's what it is until then it's an unknown tunnel i'm gonna have to go first get you the shots get you as best shots as i can and we'll just see how far this goes and what it is Okay, so where are we this week? Well, we're just to the northwest of Manchester city centre. Around the Clifton Country Park area, you'll see the M60 motorway there for your reference. And we're just on the snake of the River Irwell there, an area curiously called Giant Seat, um, on the route of the old Manchester Berry Bolton Canal, or Manchester Bolton Berry Canal. But that's where we are this week. Proper chipped away, innit? Right, before we go in the tunnel, let's just get this brew sorted. Because it was a complete disaster, and needless to say, we didn't actually get a brew. Well, that's the awesome water. James suggested we use the river water, but there's a sewage outflow just further up. Treated, of course. Treated sewage. Is that enough? That's enough. Is that three cups worth? Have we got a gas? We, we've got we got gas today. Yeah. And I had gas, but Danny wanted to bring his. So yeah, well, we, uh, the on. reason being is because we can trust Danny to bring the gas. Right. Your gas was in the attic. We had to apply for yours, didn't we? Are we on? Yeah. Oh, we're on. Begin the brewing process. 20 years later. <laughs> You're good lad, aren't you? <laughs> no. Piping hot. Where's your spoon, son? This is the shittest <laughs> brew I've had in my life. So yeah, I've got no brew. I've got no water in it. I've got no milk. Right. We're not bringing this again. Right, once again, it's all gone wrong. So it's a bit breezy and the gas keeps going out, so the brew isn't that hot. This lot forgot the milk. Hang on, this no. lot. This lot. He forgot the milk. We were, yeah. in, we were in the supermarket and they still couldn't get the milk. Because you know, you have, you know, you walk around them. They want chocolate and toys and stuff, and they're on the video games, and they don't look up for the video games. That's what it's like with these. So we have got cakes though. We'll don't crack out the cakes. We actually bought individual cakes. We had a big thing about buying cakes from the bakery bit, but we didn't get any milk. No milk. The only one person that's got a decent brew, and it's Danny, and he's because he's got his own powdered sort of like coffee with added milk in it. Oh, everything's going wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got, James? So we've got a, a, 
We beat these last night. Yeah. We've got our favourite Portuguese car. I like, I like the Danish crown things. I think, I'm, I'm going to try one of these. Let me look at the Danish crowns. And all of that one's got more custody. Thanks. Such a lovely day. It's just a shame that everything's gone wrong. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, actually, I prefer it when they film brew time in James's kitchen because it's more coherent and they actually get a proper brew and we get to see Timmy. Yeah. But they're very good, those, James. Mm. What have I learned from it? What have I learned from it? Though I don't need milk with my brew because he's <laughs> quite a milky cake. Yeah, just look at the camera. That's all from. Will you put mine in? Mine's not right. Put it in, yeah, he's not found it. It's so all dry. So Danny can put his on there. Have you got the towel? You guys are just getting in. Right? Yeah, I'm on Now you'll see there is a bit of a, a flow in there. Uh, very rough, very small to walk along. I suspect it gets smaller up there. So we'll see what it's like. Um, what this flow is, I don't know. Um, but it's a good job we've got the knee pads on. So we'll see what we can do, what sort of pictures we can get you. So we're not firing at the minute. Crawling. Nice big pool of water here. Yeah. Right, so a bit of a pool to go through here. Is it? I think it's all true. And would you, would you believe it, it gets a little bit smaller. I'm just battered the gut brush. Fuck you, I'd love this, wouldn't it? Yeah. Another pool yeah. there. The water. All sorts of little pond skaters in. We're getting a bit more like uh, the old winter brook in here now. Amazing. Don't be damaging all this, do we? Look at all this little stuff here. Fantastic. Stop. Oh, shit. Stand the bike, stand the time. Yeah. So I can hear water up ahead dripping. Can you hear that? That's interesting, isn't it? There's a tunnel cut across there. It looks weird, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look weird. Looks like I'm coming to a like across T junctions. And what's my uh, uh, angle like on the uh, helmet? We'll see what we can salvage from it, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's get some footage of these two, I guess. Should have worn well these two. Yeah, I've turned up to nothing, it is. Now it's slip, slipping, sinking there. Shit in hell. What? Sinking there, got some bits there, it's sinking. Safety check! <laughs> right, I've sat a little bit now. Very sinking. Is there a thing? Oh, yeah, there's like a... I don't know what the hell's deep. <laughs> yeah. Stand to the side. Right, so this is interesting. Danny, watch out there. If you stay to the side of it, it's not too bad. The middle bit deep, like knee deep. Right, you just say something. Happened, you? you can see on the side of the walls where the... Uh, the chips away, God knows when. This is this is I this has got to be either uh, latest 1790 something because uh, if it is canal related, that's what it is. But um, you can tell the same as the canal tunnel of Manchester and the thing on the Irwell, yeah. isn't it? Wow. Well. Right, so we're coming into a chamber now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. Is that sharp? It's something. Good god. Right. Mm. So we're at the end. So as you can see, we've opened up into a kind of a sandstone chamber. Um, and then here, here's the source of all your water. Um, and as we suspected, there is a shaft here. And there's the shaft. So I'm going to guess. What's that on to the left? What it comes in? Something yeah. that comes out there. Yeah.
So I'm just going to voice over this bit because I didn't like the way I, re I originally said it. So we think this is a canal overflow tunnel. So the canal is quite high up on the riverbank and it was quite a complex or big lock area, the giant seat lock. Um, and I think where I think what they've done is they've built uh, this shaft so that the excess canal water can drop down, run along the tunnel and out into the river Irwell. Uh, and I think that's what it is because the way we've come in now, we've worked out that, uh, that almost directly above us now is the giant seat lock. Looking at 230 years old easily. Um, wow, so we've always wondered what this was. I just want to touch on something here now. When you look at the Wikipedia entry, obviously this is taken from another source, but this is the Wikipedia entry uh, for the Manchester Boltonbury Canal, and it lists the uh, the investors there, one of which is uh, Matthew Fletcher, who, as we know, owned the Wet Earth Colliery just across the way. Obviously invested heavily in the Manchester Boltonbury Canal. <laughs> but it, it mentions a meeting that they have and work's about to commence. And it says the meeting secured a resolution that Mr. Fletcher and Mr. McNiven shall, shall dispatch or procure 100 wheelbarrows and as many planks as they shall think necessary for the use and accommodation of the canal navigation. And it just kind of like, and this is what we're looking at, you know, we're very privileged that we're, that when they cracked on with it and, not, you know, they had to dig the cut and everything, but they also dug these this tunnel to you know overflow it at this point and it's just it's untouched and it's that you've got it kind of like being in this underneath this shaft and in this kind of like chamber if i feel <laughs> romantically this direct connection to to that meeting and to that work commencing and this picture isn't you know of the the manchester berry bolton canal navvies because that was just too early there were no pictures of those but we can imagine that this is possibly what it was like. Anyway, I'm getting uh, uh, all poetic again now. Let's crack on. So what have you found, James? Can you see it? Yeah, what's on the bottom of it? It's a glass bottle. Is there anything on the bottom? You play. Four. It says four. All right. So we should kind of toxic in that. So we've got, yeah, a lot of the... Uh, we'll take a look to the further reaches of the... Uh, for well, I think it's a canal oval, but fancy building this big uh, chamber. Yeah. 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 So if we just take a look at this for the moment, you can see there where I've put the little white X. There's a side tunnel there, or a side pipe, maybe. And yet the water seems to be coming from the square blocks. Now outside it's a very dry day so where this water's coming from I don't know uh, but it, it can be like that sometimes. Sometimes it can be very dry outside and you'll still get an inflow of surface water. Very interesting this. Uh, I would love to get a ladder up there and take a look. Okay, so I wanted to show you this map of the entirety of the canal and you'll see it starts down in Salford and it ran up to the towns of uh, Bolton and Bury and you'll see it splits at Knob End Locks um, as it makes its way to the, the towns of Bolton and Bury uh, um, respectfully. Only the bits in blue are actually got water in anymore. The bits in green are completely dry. Um, and obviously, as we know, the, the canal is no longer in use and fell into disrepair. Uh, the breach that where where it breached its banks uh, above the River Irwell, which we did again we did a video on, that sort of sealed its fate, and and a few other things sealed its fate. But let's just take a look at the area that we're looking at. 
Okay, so as we zoom into our area of the canal, you'll see we're looking just below where it says Outward Colliery and the, the section of the green line where it says Fletcher's Canal. So look at the green line above Fletcher's Canal, the F of Fletcher's Canal. That's where we're looking at. And you'll see that um, our section is green. And what I'm going to carry on the investigation now above ground but you'll see obviously because it's green there's no water so what we're about to look at is unrecognizable as a canal really so we're coming above ground uh, from the the tunnel I'm trying to pinpoint where the shaft will be might be but uh, it's all private here um, so you'd end up walking around in someone's garden and it's difficult we can't do it uh, and probably probably the top of the shaft is covered anyway James is just in the undergrowth there in his natural environment looking for uh, something but uh we can't find nothing so like i say the top of it's probably covered anyway and might be it's under a load of undergrowth but uh yeah we don't know we can't, can't find the top there. end of it okay so as the area is now completely unrecognizable the canal has gone from the area we'll look at the old maps and if you look at this you'll see giant seat house and this is the area of the canal we're looking at you could just make the, make out the canal coming in from the uh, right of the picture there and then you'll see it goes through a lock and there's a dock there and there's weirs um, now those weirs will be canal overflows but it looks like there's a dock there so it looks like they could probably station boats waiting to go through the locks completely gone now um, but it was quite a busy place it looks like it was quite a junction on the canal this is quite a nice comparison picture uh, then and now. So it kind of explains things. It says there were two locks at Giant Seat. The pictures show the lock house, which still stands by the upper lock. Both locks are infilled, though traces of the upper lock are just visible in the grass. The lock house is the only one surviving on, on the canal, built in the mid 19th century, though it has been extended. That's the difference in the pictures you can see. The path to the right of the wire fence is still a public right of way, though often difficult to access at either end. So, yes, it, we, we didn't want to go walking around because it does feel like you're in someone's garden there. But we don't need to because that, that shows how it, uh, how it used to look. And all traces of the canal have gone. In fact, when you walk up there, it's quite disorientating trying to imagine where the canal was. I would love to have a walk around there, though, and poke around in that garden to see if there's anything like the, uh, the towpath to find or any bits of the locks or anything like that just hidden in the undergrowth. So, yeah, there's the lock keeper's cottages for giant seat locks there. And then the canal goes down that way, or went down that way. It's all dry now, nothing to show you. We don't want to invade people's privacy here because this is their garden, but we think somewhere in there is where the top of the, the shaft is. Lockkeeper's Cottage, canal went that way above where Roy is there, and then there's a sharp drop off here now down to the Irwell. And as with the Berry Bolton Canal, it's always perched on the top, of, right on the side of the Irwell most of the time. When we looked at giant seat locks on the old maps, it looked like quite a complicated lock. It had a through route and then it had a spur to one side. And I think it would have been from the days where they had to hold boats and things, you know, as there was a queue forming for the locks. Um, this picture shows that a little bit, a wonderful old picture. But over on the left there, you can see maybe perhaps what was a spur. Danny's found the... See, while we're all messing about in here looking up at the shaft, Danny finds something really interesting and what he's found is candle marks. See, the look like candle marks there. And that back, right, I'll show you something now. There's the shelf. See the shelf of cup where the candle sat? That, now unless somebody's been in here and had a picnic in here, that candle scotch in there has got the back original and there's another one there and there's another little shelf there um, where they put candles and they put candles on there as well that is incredible what a find um, and as you can see all sandstone all sandstone all very black at the back over there um, incredible 
Yeah. 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 So James has found the tin now. So we need to get that out, James, and see what it is. Mm. Might worth thousands of pounds. <laughs> That's what he's open. <laughs> yeah. Milk in it. Yeah. Didn't that have to be some in there? Yeah, that milk. Yeah. yeah, it could be just an old What's the smoke tin? Yeah. The back old tin. Ah, right. You open it. Right. Well, he's opened it, and there's nothing in. I thought it would be a diamond in well, there. It's all snuffed in, isn't it? Yeah. Go on, it. Since it's any print or line on the outside, but it's all rusted away, in it? Uh, bricks. I wonder if the shaft was bricked at yeah. some point. There are some yeah. bricks here, you see. I don't know if it's a candle or a bit of... Is it a bit of that stuff, that um, fungus? Could be, couldn't it? So it's things like that that I wonder about. See that little hole there? What's that all about? Interesting, eh? And yeah, there's a pick mark down there. Moving on. Before we <laughs> So, just crouch right over here now. On the way back out. Three and a half or three and one eighth. What's it say on it? Accrington Nori. Yeah, it was meant to be iron, weren't it? But they spelt it wrong with the brass. Right. <laughs> that that under problem. Watch your head, watch your head as you come out, this is where it gets you. Oh. Oh my it's not on any maps at all, there's nothing, there's no, there's no reference to it or anything. So, bit of a crawl, wasn't it James? Yeah, it was a bit. Filthy, uh, nice formations in there, and that, that um, what's the word, that cavern, that cavern at the end was quite uh, sketchy, a bit sketchy. Yeah. And weird the way there was a, a square shaft and it just went into the cavern, unless it's collapsed, unless there's been collapses, but there weren't that much debris in there. But then again, the, the floor went like that, didn't it? So, well, very interesting, another little mystery uh, sorted out, uh, what we call nut and bolt. Right, so there you go. Weren't a long tunnel, was it? No. But we had to go and look to see what it was. It was cool inside. It was cool inside. We'll never actually definitely know for definite we like that on this channel we like to be scientific we don't say what things are when we don't know but we're gonna have to make take a good guess it was canal i'd say so mm, definitely yeah First um time. 233 years old roughly so very very old very interesting to see very sketchy at the end yeah it was there you go little investigation of a lesser known tunnel in manchester thank you very much for watching take care and we'll see you next time in the next video and bring milk no, <laughs> bring, bring milk. milk. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> he needs to bring milk. I bring a spoon. I want a, <laughs> a fight, fight. I want a warm <laughs> brew and some milk. Yeah. <laughs> we went in a supermarket and didn't even bring milk. Milk! Milk next time! So this is what happens when Martin doesn't bring milk. We end up fighting by two crazy. Right. And, uh, we're having a bolt Now we're going to have to go to flipping Starbucks for a bit of brew. <laughs>